You may want to keep a close eye on your mailbox. The Miami-Dade County Elections Department is mailing out vote-by-mail ballots today. Therefore, the presidential preference primary. CBS News Miami's Chelsea Jones was there as the ballots left election headquarters. She joins us now with more on how this works and the deadlines you need to know. So you probably don't think about how massive of an operation this actually is, but this is where it begins. These vote by mail ballots actually were wheeled out of this door and they're on their way to your mailbox. Loaded up and out the door they go. Today we're sending about 56,000 ballots. And that number is only expected to grow. A person puts their request on file. We make sure that we get the correct ballot style for them. We have an automated system that is highly intelligent technology that puts everything into the envelope. Then it heads onto a truck, to the post office, and then to you. But because this is the Republican presidential preference primary, this election is only for registered Republicans. That's because the Democratic Party of Florida has chosen their nominee, which is Joe Biden, so no primary is necessary for that party, and there's no ballot content for the no party affiliates. There are two exceptions in that South Miami and Surfside each have municipal content on the ballot, so all voters there are eligible to vote in this election. Here are the dates you need to know. If you want to switch your party affiliation, you have until February 20th to do so. The deadline to request a mail-in ballot is March 7th, and election day for the presidential preference primary is March 19th. This is a sample of what the ballot will look like when you get it. If you already put in your request for it, it should be in your mailbox in the next couple of days. Supervisor of Elections in Miami-Dade County, Christina White, says to make sure you vote as soon as possible and put it in the mail because if it's not at headquarters on Election Day, it won't count, not even if it's postmarked. And it's really, really important that they sign inside this red box. The signature on this envelope is how we confirm that it is in fact you that voted your vote by mail ballot. In Florida, you have three options to vote. You can vote by mail, you can early vote, which starts March 4th and goes until the 17th, or you can vote at your precinct on Election Day. So something to keep in mind is that these ballots have to be back here at headquarters by 7 p.m. on March 19th, and you can track them online at miamidade.gov slash elections. If there are mistakes, you can fix them. But again, these have to be back here on March 19th. In Doralem, Chelsea Jones, CBS News, Miami.